Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi and welcome to another episode of Good Good. Today we're making Basque cheesecake and we're serving it with something that goes really well with it but you never see it and it's uh, sweet pickled red currant. But before we have a look at the ingredients, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, please do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode comes out. But now let's have a look. We have a kilo of cream cheese. We have 300 grams of sugar, half a kilo of double cream. We have 15 grams of flour. We have some salt and we have four eggs plus an egg yolk. And this is what we're serving with it. I'm not showing you it because it's so easy. You just take red currants and then you do a sweet pickle, which in this case is one part vinegar to two parts sugar. And you heat that up to melt all the sugar, you let it cool down and you pour it over the red currant and that's it. And you leave them to stand. So I'll put these away and then we'll start with uh, mixing together everything we need. First thing we'll do is we'll just put our cream in. Now this is a low calorie dessert. And we can also put our sugar in. And then we start slowly. We just want everything to come together in a smooth, that's not really a dough, what do you call it? Smooth uh, liquid batter. Now before we put the egg in, preheat your oven 220 degrees up down heat. Like that it's going to be nice and warm by the time we're done here. Now the eggs, it's said that you should add them one by one if you can. I managed to add two now and make a mess. And just incorporate them fully before we add the next. You see I'm not using the whisk on a very high level or power because I don't want to whisk it, I just want to stir it in. So I use it actually on the lowest possible. I think we can add our rest. And I'll see you once you incorporated the eggs fully. I'll take a spatula, sieve in our flour. There was some dirt in that sieve, so let's get that out. It wasn't actually dirt, it was tea leaves because I'm making kombucha. And now for the salt part. This to me is essential, but not everybody likes it. A good pinch of sea salt. And now we just mix this last part in with our spatula. Let's give it a try. See if we have enough salt in there. To me, perfect. Now get a spring form, two sheets of baking paper, crunch it together, open it up again, do the same with the second one. These are basically, they're not square, but they're almost square. So we put them to a right angle to each other. And now we pour a little bit so we have some weight in here. And we make sure to fill it all the way into the nooks and crannies. 
And the Basque cheesecake is a rustical cheesecake. So it's nice when the edges are kind of wavy. And that's what you get when you do it like this with the paper. So we'll get the rest of the batter. Make sure we get everything out. Just try to equally distribute it in the spring form. We're ready to put it in. I had to switch ovens because I think the lower one has given up. Uh, the upper one only has hot air, so instead of 220, I put it on 200. And we'll put this in now for 20 minutes. And then we should have a nice cake that will wibble like uh, the best creme brulee. So I'll see you in 20 minutes. And here we go. I hope you can see the wobbliness. Now, don't do it like I did it. I did it because the lower oven seemed to have broken. Um, I did it in the top oven, but that only has warm air or hot air. So I did it up there, but obviously it had no color. So I had to turn on the grill function on this oven afterwards and grill it to get the right color. Just make sure you have a functioning oven. It's much easier. Then you do it with upper, lower heat, 220 degrees for 20 minutes, and you have this surface anyways. But now, the most difficult part, we need to let it cool. First, we need to let it cool down to room temperature. Then we're going to put it in the fridge for at least an hour. And first then, are we going to be able to taste this. So I'll see you probably in three, four hours, something like that. Until then. Now, we should probably have left it in the fridge for a little bit longer, but I can't wait. So we'll try to gently pull the paper down. See if we can cut ourselves a nice slice. See if we can wiggle it out. The first one is always the most difficult one to get out. Take a palette knife. This is the problem when you don't leave it long enough. Just put it back in the fridge. But at least like this, we can try it. But it has the perfect creaminess inside. Just don't be as impatient as I am. Leave it in the fridge for about an hour. Put our sweet pickled berries on top. And these make all the difference, I think. And there we are. Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. That really is amazing. It's it's creamy. It has that hint of saltiness, which is really nice in desserts, I think. And the berries add this kind of tartiness and sourness to it. That's really important when it's so rich. Mm. Really perfect. Perfect Basque burnt cheesecake in my mind. Mm. Crazy. And we don't count. We don't count calories. So. Mm. so that's it for today's episode. Our original Basque burnt cheesecake from La Vigna in San Sebastian. Um, at least it's it's the ingredients from that. 
serving it a bit differently. I think I'm cooking it a bit less to get a bit more creaminess in there. But the recipe or the ingredients is the same and the quantities is the same. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget, hit the thumbs up button. It takes you a second, but it's so valuable to me to get my content out there. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I always answer the comments. Um, and if you're not a subscriber yet, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe, check the bell icon. And last time, say goodbye. See you next time. Bye-bye.